went for a little walk around the block and now it's time for a little mommy time. The kids are eating lunch and they're watching DuckTales. <laughs> so they've gotten a kick out of asking me, their dad, and their aunt um, if we used to watch DuckTales. And the first thing we say is DuckTales. Ooh. And they say every time we ask, you guys say that. So that's really cute. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. <laughs> I just grabbed my planner, my computer, and my phone because it is time for me to get in a little bit of homeschool journaling. I think I talked about this in my unschool update about uh, how the first several, the first few weeks of unschool were quite challenging in that I'm a planner kind of mom and I love having our plans for our homeschool life, but um, I kind of thought I just had to throw everything all away when I started, and I quickly learned that that just wasn't gonna work out for me. So um, I felt so liberated <laughs> when I realized that I could have a plan for our homeschool days and still not um, bind them to it, so to speak. And um, so there's just a few things that I've been doing lately to help me let go as a planner mom, a planner homeschool mom, in order to make way for more of our unschool days and still fulfill my desire or my need to plan. So um, that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to grab all of the audio clips, all of the pictures, from my phone, um, any notes that I've written down in different places and kind of try to pull them all together in my planner. So you guys know I use a passion planner I have for a while, but I'm using it a bit differently right now, which is basically kind of like a homeschool diary of sorts or a homeschool journal. I'm big on that, uh, keeping a homeschool journal because it helps you to connect the dots and remember things along the way. And uh, this is kind of separate from exactly what we did in school time or during lesson time. This is more so like a collection of thoughts about um, what we're drawn to, our behaviors, like, um, things that we've pushed through. This is what I'm getting ready to do now. Not necessarily the specifics of what we read or um, anything we wrote. Even though I can from time to time include that, the goal is really to keep note of of the things that um, things that they really enjoyed doing, things that they kind of struggled with, how we pressed through them. Um, so that I can start to keep like a collection of tips for myself or notes for myself of things that have worked in the past and things that have not worked in the past, but that's kind of what I'm doing now. It is really chilly around here, so sweater weather is in full effect. Okay, so this is the time that I get to use my love of paper things. <laughs> uh... I really started doing this in my passion planner because while I love using the passion planner to map out days, what really works best for me in time management is to use my iCal, like my digital things. Um, and I wanted to use my physical planners more as something to help me keep memories, things that I can enjoy looking back on. And the reality was like just looking back on a planner filled with like doctor's appointments and things like that was not the, the thing for me. <laughs> so instead I started using it this way so that I can keep a nice little collection of um, our journaling that kind of helps me tell the story of how we worked our way through our homeschool days. Kind of look forward to this time. Um, sometimes I don't get it in and I should because it's on my schedule. It's basically the last thing I do at the end of our like lesson portion of the day. 
so it's the way I'm supposed to be unwinding before I move on to like work related things just to jot down what we did and how we went through it. Well, I just said that. I also feel free to like use stickers and stamps and things like that, but <laughs> oftentimes I'll wait till I have like a little bit more time to do that. But right now I just wanna get down the basics within the little tiny little area that I have to get to the point because otherwise I'll sit here like overwhelmed by all the things when really I just wanna get straight to the point and start jotting things down. So I never really addressed this the other day after posting about it. Um, when I shared about having a really hard, difficult, just downright frustrating day. And um, I went back and forth on whether or not I was going to include that in uh, the vlog. And I did, and I'm glad I did. Um, because so many of you reached out and were just so kind and encouraging. And um, I'm one of those people that's really big on learning to encourage themselves. So um, I just really try hard not to look for encouragement from others. But I think that at that moment... Um, Maybe that was a little bit one of my more vulnerable times in that a lot of times people will say that I'm being vulnerable and I often don't feel like that. I just feel like I'm being honest. But that particular time when I shared my frustration, I was frustrated and, um, and I did feel like giving up and I did choose to share it with you all. And I was really surprised at how encouraging all of your words really were um, to me. So thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you because I had no plans of quitting, but it certainly was nice to know that there is a, someone out there that is interested in wrapping um, their hearts around me when I'm frustrated and when I want to quit. So thank you. Um, because it is hard, I can't remember who commented. They mentioned that what it boiled down to was whether I was in it for the followers or not. And while I 100% agree with that ideal or that sentiment, it's not exactly what I meant with my frustration. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he said, is that too loud? Meanwhile, I'm being all serious and DuckTales is playing in the background. <laughs> He's so cute. He said, That's better. Thank you. He said, is that too loud? Um, so what I'm trying to say is that wasn't exactly what I mean by, you know, meant by being frustrated. Um, the short of it is if I am baking cupcakes and um, 1,500 people order these cupcakes and I go and I take the time to build the recipe and bake the cupcakes and make them nice and special and package them up and ship them off. I would love for those 1,500 cupcakes to reach the people that requested them, the people that ordered them. And that's more so what I mean when I say that I get frustrated by the numbers and the algorithm and things like that. It's, um, not so much I want my cupcakes to reach the masses. It's just that I want my cupcakes, the effort and the love that you put into baking these cupcakes and packaging these cupcakes and sending them off to the people that requested them. That's the frustration that I oftentimes have with um, social spaces because they are 100% driven by algorithms and by money. And with that being said, the people that you are choosing to follow and choosing to subscribe to, you are not um, being placed always in their inboxes because that is not what drives the platforms. And so that's where my frustration is, just to clarify. I am 100% certain that I'm not in it for the followers, but the ones that I have, the ones that I've found, the ones that have come along the way, I would love it if the work and energy and effort that I put into what I do gets shown to them. And that's kind of what I mean. And maybe I didn't um, clarify that enough. But nevertheless, 
she continues to persist and I'm grateful for you all um, just choosing to take the time to encourage me so I appreciate y'all also I posted this quote um, on Instagram if you are not following us on Instagram I would love it if you would um, come and follow along because your friend is getting better remember when I'd be gone from Instagram for a whole like month two months <laughs> I told myself that I was going to show up for those of you who show up for me and um, I just allow myself about 30 minutes 20 30 minutes to be on Instagram each day with purpose and intention no fluff no scrolling yeah just to connect so I posted this morning but I love this quote that I included in that post it's a quote by Chadwick Boseman I felt like there was no way it could be any more perfect to my situation right now it says purpose crosses disciplines purpose is an essential element of you it is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose if you're willing to take the harder way the more complicated one the one with more failures at first than successes the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning more victory more glory then you will not regret it the legacy is not wrapped up in the money that you will make but the challenges that you choose to confront i love it <laughs> i've had a lot of friends in real life and friends here on the interwebs reach out and say that they watch our videos with their kids i never i mean i know that kids can watch but i then i had the thought that do the kids sit and listen to me talk here <laughs> I'm, I know they're here to watch the kids, but do they also sit and listen to what I'm saying? Anyway, so just in case you're a little one and you're listening, that's for you too. <laughs> we 100% talk to our kids like that around here because we expect them to rise above what the world would consider them old enough to comprehend. I am going to go ahead and get in my little 30 minutes or so of journaling just so I can um, continue to do a decent job documenting our journey because we are not checking off boxes and we don't always produce like an end result from our studies and our lessons. Um, the journaling portion of unschool homeschool life is a big deal around here. So that is how I am managing or coping with being a planner homeschool mom turned unschool. Um, I'm choosing to focus on documenting. And so whether that is recording an audio clip um, or jotting down something on a piece of note paper and sticking it in my planner, um, just having those few places that I can document parts of the journey by photo or video or y'all know the deal. This is kind of not a new thing, but I figured I would say it out loud here. Ow. What's the matter? My hair whipped my eyes. Your, your hair whipped your eyes. Oh, baby girl. Are you okay? So anybody want to come and fold those clothes over there for me? <laughs> Oh, my sweet girl, my sweet kaboo. When you forget they're highly capable of helping you around the house. Let's just take a moment and appreciate this loveliness that is this little princess right here helping her mama out. See friends, you have not because you ask not. <laughs> that they're such a blessing, look at her. You better go girl, you better work it sis. Thank you mama. Oh. The perks of working from home. What did Mama, you say? Yep. Have you noticed this? Have I noticed what? Gray hair. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you see it, guys? Savannah. You have gold hair. I have gold hair and the gray hair. Way. So, my hairdresser is currently braiding my hair. And what did you say? I said. A school mom with braids. You'll get through it. <laughs> yes, so braids. Suck. A school mom with braids. School mom, unschooled mom with braids. I like that. Are you having fun? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I wrote a story, guys. So tell us what your story is about. My story is about fairies, the sprinkle fairies. 
Okay. Uh, they eat pixie dust, so they call it pixie food because the pixie dust has sugar in it. They yes. call it pixie food, and they have an operation where first the the pixie food is as big and as big as and and random colors and, okay. as, and as big as a gumball. Okay. So you mash it, mash it. Oh, do we have to ma mash though like that? There was a mashing machine, and you mash it, and then. After it gets mashed, it goes to the soup. It it gets mashed into an uh, a mashed egg, but with colors. Do you want us to read? And can without we, yolk. Can can we read a little bit of your story? Uh huh. Do you want to go grab it? Can you can you can you grab this? Do you know where it is though? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Story time. I'm not gonna read her whole story, but. Mm -hmm. That, that's not a chapter. Oh, th though. this is not the beginning? No. Read this and then you can just skip that if you want and then read that. Oh, okay. Once upon a fairy. And then there's the fairy. Isn't that fairy so cute? Okay. So, once upon a fairy, there was a fairy village. There was a fairy village not far from where we live now. Actually, under our feet with any fairy you could ever imagine. <laughs> That's before the Oh, okay, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready, I got it, I got it. Well, you were supposed to read that then, before you read this, but oh. that's okay, that's okay. Oh, that's so okay. that was the introduction. Okay, I'm sorry, so I read it out of order, but I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm reading, okay. Did you see that girl with the yellow wings? Well, that's me, I'm 12, and I'm going to tell my story. Like I said, I'm 12 and turning 13 tomorrow. My name is Tiwan. I'm from Hawaii. But and that's traveled... one of the fairies. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, let I me... got confused. I thought it was a human. You thought it was a human? Wait, no, but tell me. Then all of them were fairies, so I was like, what? That's not human. <laughs> okay. I'm from Hawaii and traveled the world here in Cameroon. In Africa? The only thing I don't like the state Africa. You didn't like the state. Yeah, it's so hot. First of all, friend, Africa's not a state. What is it? A continent. It is a continent. Okay, no, get it right, this, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, uh. I'm sorry. This is. <laughs> Love it. Can't wait to read what happens next. So that's it for a story time for now with Serena. And Savannah. <laughs> Oh, mm -mm. back it up, we not that close. Okay, if you are interested in how I plan, I still walk through the way I think over on our Patreon space. So I'm loving that space lately. I get to just be a regular old me um, who is so imperfect and just pushing towards what we are passionate about over here and that is a true education so um if you haven't considered it go and give it a look check out the video um for our patreon space where i just kind of walk through what it's all about and thank you to my patreon fam who has supported us along the way and continued to grow and learn with us because life is so very full of lessons so our goal is to live and to learn and i will see you in the next one Don't forget to subscribe!